Hi, welcome to Thursday. Um, we are at the end of our week, almost, well, at the end of our one o'clock week. Um, it's time to start thinking about next week now. I don't know what I'm going to do next week. Um, and then I'm in Hochanda then on the Saturday. So, um, so yeah, busy week next week. Um, today's tutorial is a neck pillow. I've called it a propeller because it looked like a propeller to me, but um, it's a dog bone neck pillow. I've got the link all ready to go for when I get back into the shop so that you can make this. It is so easy, unbelievably easy. You download the, um, the template and um, you cut out three and sew them together. I mean, what's difficult about that? So, uh, before we start the sewing, because honestly, it's the, the longest bit is sitting waiting for me to go around it. Um, I, I was thinking about deal of the day. What was I going to do for deal of the day? Um, we, I decided that rather than me having to change the website, um, I would do, if you order £20 worth of stuff on the website, I'll bung in a random fat quarter. If you order £40 worth of stuff, you'll get two fat quarters. Okay, so, um, so yeah, on your marks, get set, go. Um, so yeah, that's the deal. And that will be up until um, close of play on Monday. Okay, so you can order, well, until Sarah puts up the new deal of the day on the Monday. Okay, so dog bun collar, uh, um, neck thing. I've tried it, it's very comfortable. You can, um, if you sit, can I have your phone a minute, Al? Top. If you sit with it on your knees in bed, it'll prop up. <laughs> Just think in bed, it wouldn't slip. Um, you can prop up. Your iPad, it's big enough for your iPad and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm sorry, I can't be m more effusive. I lost my effusiveness with my little red ball. That was my, my big wow this week. Um, who am I talking to? Uh, so we got Karen, Jean, Heather, uh, Hilary, Janice, Marilyn bunch of people in. Good afternoon ladies. Um, so right, I chose this um, monster fabric. I've done this one for Danny so um, he can, he's got a, a pillow. Um, and I'm going to do, you only use an eight, a fat eight. Um, so from a fat quarter, three fat quarters, you'd get two pillows. Okay. So um, you download the pattern on the link that I'm going to give you. You would go there and you download the pattern and it comes, you get two of them. You cut them out, stick them together and then, and then you're going to put them on the fold. All right. So if you... If you leave it folded in half, okay, right like that. I should have plugged the iron in. What did I do with the ironing board? Yeah. It's alright. I think somebody's been uh, playing games or something on the on there. Let's plug that in. I'm going down into the cellar, ladies. There we go. Okay. I don't know, I've got so much hair today, I think um, it'll end up being tied up eventually. Right, so if you fold the fabric in half and then fold it up in half again, okay, okay, right, and you fold it up in half again, like that. Now this would be an ideal project again for um, the fat eighth deal of the day that was on when Sarah was here. She put one on with the wool. 
Um, so, you know, random fat eights, if you're going to make these. Um, I filled mine with fluff from a duvet, brand new duvet, never been used. Um, so I'm going to put this there. I'm going to move this, otherwise um, I'll end up cutting into it. Okay, so I'm doing it this way because that's easy for me. Am I too close now, am I? There we go. So you're going to pin it in, okay? So you make sure that this, this bit's on the fold. Pin it in like that. Now depending on what your cutting skills are like, you could um, pin all of them together and then cut out. Okay, but it depends on how good your scissors and stuff are. Okay, so I'm going to go around there like that. Okay, I cut a lot of stuff out with my rotary cutter now. Um, if I cut out dressmaking, toys, and I tend to, something like this is easy peasy, um, you would. Um, cut out if you know if I was going to cut out a toy and I got to here and I couldn't get the rotary cutter in I would then put the scissors in right it says clip there now there's reasons for that so we're just gonna put a clip in there like that okay so there I have I've already cut two pieces all right so I could make two identical cushions which I think I might do for the girls um, this is animal crackers and we have uh, I think we still got some of the charm packs in which are 100% cotton and some of the uh, some of it on the bolt but this is in fleecy it's all fleecy I think it's lovely um, these are just three of them we've got about five five or six of this range check the website so that's how you cut it out uh, I haven't put the clip in there. Right, so I've already cut out the other fat eighth from the pillar that I have done. Okay. Um, where do I want the clip? So I'm just going to make a mark here. Now you don't want to you don't want to cut too far in but you want to be able to find the mark okay so I'm going to separate these out now and you're going to put two of them together right sides together and then just pin them randomly okay so I'm going to line up the clips it's in the right place Al Yep. Yeah. Line up the clips and stick a couple of pins in. Doik that. And I'm going to put one over there. Oh, it's a long pin. I wasn't expecting it to be that long. Like that. Any questions while I'm doing this? Um, Statements. Uh, Linda asked, a friend wants to learn to crochet. Does anyone remember the date for the Facebook oh, Live for learning to crochet? I did see it, Linda, but I was on my way over here um, when I saw it. Um, <clears throat> the best way to do it would be to go on the YouTube. Go on YouTube and um, go to our page and you'd probably find it a bit easier there. That makes sense. Why didn't that clip? Okay. Okay. So the clips, the clipping in, you know, the cutting in there. I'm going to sew from there all the way round to the one at the other end. Okay. Um, so you're only doing half now. Um, 
um, what's it called? Seam allowance is uh, three eighths. So three eighths is about there. Now, I think one of the reasons they say three eighths, um, I didn't do three eighths uh, yesterday on that pillow. I did it at um, edge of foot. I thought, yeah, that's close enough. But three eighths means that you'll catch all of it. Um, if you use edge of foot, I think it would just, so three eighths is this, this line here. Okay, that line there, but I'm gonna use this one because it's bigger. Um, so I think when you're making something like this, where's my clip? Um, when you're making something like this, um, it's not as important your seam allowance. I mean, this would be a larger seam allowance is going to make it more robust. Um, but if you were dressmaking, you would want to keep keep an eye on exacts. Right, I put a lock stitch there because uh, you don't want it unraveling when you're moving stuff around. So anything else there, Al? While they're wait until he's all hyper extended uh, Kate said I wrote the pan down for granny square but no date except it was early in the lockdown okay that's for the crochet ah. I will have a look when I get back Linda okay um Keep an eye on where your clip is. Oh, I think... Uh, Somebody's found it? No, Jean said, uh, does that include Zoom classes? I think that was for the um, da daily deal. Does it include Zoom classes? Yeah, probably. Oh, um, only if you've got something I'm sending out to you. Because otherwise you know um i'd have to pay the postage which means that the postage is more than the um more than the uh the fat quarter so mm, probably not then see i'm all for giving stuff away um but, <coughs> right you've got your two pieces Sewn together halfway down. You're going to add the other piece. I told you this was really quick and easy. So I'm going in this way. Okay. So you're going to line up your clips there. All right. And you're going to sew this all the way round. Then you're going to put these there. I took them out, didn't I? I don't know what the mother does. Just shove them there. And I'm going to pin this all the way round. I didn't pin yesterday and I uh, had to go back over my seams where they were quite close to the edge on the, on the side that I wasn't looking at. So I thought, seeing it's you lot, I do pin in. So we're going to pin along here. So, okay, so, and then you're going to put it right sides together, right there. I'm seeing if I can turn off notifications, but I don't know how to do it on an iPhone. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes, I thought about it earlier. Must remember to turn it off and then promptly forgot. Uh, so I've pinned this so you can see now that it's, Pinned. Oh, here's another one. Um, so you get that try bit. Uh, are you all still with me with this? Yeah. So go around. Now this would be a brilliant project for um, uh, a brilliant pro project for uh, doing uh, charity. Right. You need a gap. 
Okay, so the easiest sewing gap is going to be here in the middle. All right, so you need to be able to turn it around and be able to get your hand in for stuffing. So you need about four inches. So if I take this one out, and move that one up a little bit. I can just about get my hand in there to stuff into the corners, okay? So I'm gonna start sewing here and I'm gonna go all the way round. Now when I get to this bit here, you need to make sure that you're not sewing. You don't want to sew this down. You want this to be, so you've got to sew and keep this bit out of your sewing range. Okay, I would go over this bit a couple of times, all right, just to hold it down. Same on the other end. Okay, so we're going to go over to here and hopefully you'll be able to see what I mean as we're doing it. Okay, so again, I would um, make sure it's three eighths, foot down set, and you're going to lock stitch okay now these machines have an automatic lock stitch but the trouble is when you come to the end and you want to reverse if you want to reverse any point it reverses and then um you can't it doesn't control as well you can't you have to do what the machine wants to do at that point you can't change your mind Right, I'm coming round. Sorry, I'm aware you might burn yourself on the iron. All right, so I've got, can you see I've got to this, this clippy bit here. I'm going to come along and I can feel it. So I've got to there, I want to just sort of come into it with a back stitch and then I want to move this out of the way so I'm tucking it I've tucked it under can you so it's I've tucked it under I'm wondering whether it was more luck than judgment yesterday okay going around making sure that you don't catch the one underneath all the way around so what's the weather like up with you lot? It's sunny here, which it would be because nobody's off today. And then Dave wanted to go up the allotment this weekend and it's going to be chucking it down. So, but at least we're not in Texas. Have you seen the snow in Texas? It's incredible, even their toilets are freezing in the house because they've got no electricity in some places. So um, they're really suffering. And we thought it was cold here in the valleys. Right, I can feel where it is. I'm gonna just nick it and I'm gonna go back over it. And then I'm gonna tuck it out the way. Okay, so separate them and tuck it behind so that you're not sewing too much of it. Oh, three eighths. I'm so used to doing edge of foot. And I've got to remember to stop there as well. Okay. bring any stuff in because it takes a while to stuff it and I didn't want to carry it to work to be quite honest but that's it that's it done um pretty much so what you do now is you clip your corners so we're going to go into the corners now I've got a good hem now a good seam allowance I'm just checking that I've sewn enough there you know you might want to go in a couple of times and sew over your ends 
because those are the bits that are going to have the most strain on them so you know put you could put a couple of hand stitches in there just to hold all three of them together uh, if you're a bit at all worried about it but they seem strong enough right pink and shears and I'm just going to pink around all the all the corners just want to move that the other way because I've got a good seam allowance it means that I can pretty much go into these a little bit You just tell me I'm in the wrong place. There we go. That's that one. And that one. Every time I turned it round last night, I kept finding another corner. Any things? Mm. I have to keep waking him up. Uh, yeah. Um. Terence is a uh, nice spring day here in Maystake. My stay. My stay. Uh, lovely and sunny in Bridge End. Sunny spells in Bath. Well, it did say it was going to be nice this weekend. And then when I looked at the weather, it changed its mind. So we're going to push all this through now. Okay. So you know you can get your hands in there because you left a big enough space for your hand. My space would be bigger than some other people's spaces because I have very large hands. So what you got planned for the weekend? So you, uh, if, it, if it stays like this, I think I might go out and clear some of the, the garden around where I've got new plants coming through already. I need to put some slug pellets down. I know that's not environmentally friendly, but they eat my hostas and I don't like it when they eat my hostas. There you go. Oh, I'm stuck. So you would stuff that now, all right? And then you're gonna ladder stitch that, that bit closed, okay? Now you need small stitches with this. I mean, with ladder stitch, it's pretty good because you can um, do it and as you pull it, it all pulls together. Um, but it's, um, you need smaller stitches. Let me see if I can find a coloured cotton. Is that one dark enough? Yeah. So, so has anybody told me what they're doing this weekend? Mm -hmm. While I, you wait three hours for me to thread a needle? Not yet. No. So next week, what do you fancy seeing next week? Now remember it's a one o'clock, so it has to be a quick, completely missed it. Do you know, Sarah can just look at a, uh, at a bit of cotton and a needle and they go together on their own. She's a witch, but me, I could be here three hours later. Right, talk to me, Alex, while I go cross-eyed. Uh, uh, Janice says, clean the house all weekend. Uh, Ooh. Susan says, oh. I have I a Donna. Donna comes in and cleans. Uh, Susan says, same as last week, nothing. Oh. Well, we gave you the, the block yesterday. And this only takes an eighth. I mean, you could do a patchwork one. You know those orphan blocks I was talking about yesterday? You could start with an orphan block, make up a piece which is bigger than a fat eighth, and then cut your bone out. Um, which way am I going? I was going to unthread it again then. Now, one of the things that I found yesterday, 
was as I was pulling it tight, my thread was breaking. So I think the next time I do it, I would do it doubled, personally. Right, so I'm gonna go through ladder stitching because we've got five minutes. Right, move that so that we're not burning. So knot your cotton and you go in here, right? Into and come out there. Can you, is that coming out? Yeah. Right. Now you've got your um, your seams. You can sew um, sew those in. Iron those in. All right. Now the nice thing about this is that there's no real ironing, but I would sew or finger press those in. This is how I do it, whether it's right or wrong. You go in and pick up a little bit, okay, like that, and pull it through. Then you need to go in directly off parallel and you pick up a little bit, okay? I'm trying to make them small. Pick up a little bit. And then where you come out, you have to go in on the other side directly parallel right now this is a little bit more difficult when it's stuffed full so whether you want to sew for a bit and then stuff it a bit more I don't know but as you're sewing let's open it up a bit as you sew it closes and as you can see even using a cotton that doesn't actually go it all pulls pulls it together now you might want to make a smaller stitch even but then you would go all the way along I'm not gonna go now because I'd have to undo it again then to stuff it but um it closes it up almost the same as or even better than um, your bit before done with the machine. Does that make sense? Yeah? Makes you know sense what to I me. Meant? There we are. Alex knows what I meant. So that's it. Um, Sean's going to put another uh, raffle on uh, sometime over the weekend. Okay. Uh, once I've sent it to her. Don't forget free fat quarters in your orders. Any order over £20 and then each time it goes up by twenty pound because some of you, um, you know, if you if you buy um, a Zoom class, it will count as long as I'm sending something else out to you. All right, which is slightly unfair, but you know what I mean. Um, anything else I can tell them? No. Sarah's back on Monday. Uh, I'm sure she'll be uh, full of news. So we will see you next week. And I'm off. See you again. Bye.